Recently, I had to get a new cell phone. That's nothing new for most of us. Um, about the time they're paid off, it seems that they either become obsolete or they're shot. So we're oftentimes every two years getting a new cell phone. My case, though, was slightly different. I couldn't get the charging mechanism to work, so I enjoy working with wood, both from the forest level, chainsaw, making wood, firewood, making lumber, all the way to a wood shop. I spend most of the winter in my wood shop. So I dutifully went to the cell phone shop and the lady started looking around in my cell phone. Pretty soon she started picking away in the charging port with a needle. Soon she had probably a, a, a thimble full of sawdust on the, on the table there and she said it was hopeless. She said, what were you doing, stuffing it with, with sawdust? I said, no but it's in my pocket and I've always got sawdust around me. So, but My point here, I do have a point to it. Um, guys like to get dirty and we want to be doing things. It's important for men especially to be doing things, accomplishing things. So, My name is Bruce. Thanks for joining me today for the Daily Good News Reflection. Here at the Lakes, we're reading a chapter a day from the New Testament. Today's reading is from the book of James, the second chapter. I love the book of James. Chances are James worked with his dad and Jesus in the carpenter shop. More sawdust, eh? The entire book of James is rich in practical information on how to live our lives for Christ. I would like to start out with the last line in this chapter. Uh, in number 26, As the body without the spirit is dead, that's our human bodies, so faith without deeds is also dead. We all know the golden rule. As the Bible lists it, the royal rule, love your neighbor as yourself, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Pretty simple, but how do we put that into our daily lives? James also states that very clearly in verse 15 and on. Suppose your brother or sister is without clothes or daily food. If one of you says to him, Go, I wish you well, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about those physical needs. What good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if not accompanied by action, is dead. There are people in need all around us. Here at the lakes, a few years ago, a number of years ago, um, it was revealed, God revealed to us that many young people, children, high school, uh, do not have enough food to get through the weekend. They're fed pretty well, breakfast and lunch at school, but the weekends the food is not available to them. So we developed the Project Backpack. We're currently feeding or providing backpacks to over 250 students every week uh, from all the school districts or districts around us here. That's faith in action. But a person's needs may not be as obvious as food and clothing. Maybe it's just the need of a kind word or an ear to listen to a concern. The key is to have our ears and eyes tuned to recognize a person's needs. This week, find a way to reveal your faith through an action. Give something of yourself to someone else in need. Signing off from the lakes.